I couldn't resist uh, doing another take here. Everything's shut off. And I'm looking down the three inch pipe into the core. I just want to see if this is actually white hot or whether it's just a bright yellow. But it looks like it uh, seems like it was cooling this going from a white white heat into yellow heat. The inside of the three inch pipe is all rippled inside. It's pretty good steel but it's it's not going to last so you're going to have to go to a stainless or a ceramic. It looks like I may have melted the end of my titanium pipe, not sure. But we'll get it all corrected and do another series of tests with a, a brand new swirl device that should make a difference because you just like a carburetor that's or a, you know a truck that's missing on a couple spark plugs, it's not going to have the full power. So it's not uh, putting out a steady pulse of of energy on the on this whirl. Let's take a look at the front side or back side here. The titanium is cooling. Yet the reactor itself is seems to be hotter than the it's hot. It's just just a, a glowing bright orange in there. And there's definitely the, the metal is actually starting to slag. So it's hot hot. Between the pipe and the and the outside of the kiln it looks like it's actually hotter. So that tells me you could uh, have the Joe pipe right in the center of the three inch pipe and still have a gap between the pipe and the thermal reactor for another cracking process where you could use that maybe to superheat your air you could bring in your air that way lots of potential here just needs to put it, be put into practical operation but I definitely can see uh, this system being used to burn all kinds of waste right from wood, uh, scrap plastics, rubber tires you know, when you're creating that kind of black smoke you need the you need the heat but you also need the superheated air to mix with it you need to vortex your probably have some kind of uh, vortex air going in uh, uh, but between uh, the incinerator and the thermal uh, reactor to uh, you can either do a downdraft or an updraft for your incinerator It'd be like a big wood gasifier but where you could burn anything and the, the thermal reactor would be an additional piece that would uh, super crack the fuel so you could actually process use uh, waste oil for your once you get going you can use your waste oil for, for your primary to replace the propane and then take your waste smoke and you know crack it through the uh, thermal array through the uh, series of uh, Joe pipes put put into us into like a six pack in order to do large volumes of, of gas and you could actually add a, a secondary thermal reactor using using quartz to generate maybe 26, 26, 700 degrees and you'd use that for melting your copper down in indignant form so you could put all this on a trailer and uh, we'd have a waste management system that would process almost anything. And you could you could co-generate your own fuel, your own heat, on-demand steam systems, and also on-demand power. Everything is there.
it's just a matter of bringing all the pieces together. Okay, we're going to cut it here for sure. And uh, it's time to go in and wrap this up. This is Josh, I'll come to you from here in Mission.